What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Before we get started with the video, I'm going to ask you guys, please go down and subscribe and, you know, turn on post notifications, like the video. If you want to see more content, definitely help support us and, you know, really help out the channel. Anyway, as you could tell by the title, yeah, something's wrong with the 335i already. As you saw in the last video, we had our first drive and everything was smooth everything was super fun um i really love the car still love the car but it's bmws man there's always always a problem so last night i was out and i got home got out of the car and all of a sudden i started hearing this hissing noise so i come over here and i hear the noise coming from like this general area yep just made it home and that literally just happened. This shit just smoked up in my face almost. Oh, fuck. So as you saw that clip, literally, I believe it's gonna be the radiator drain plug. Must have just took a shit on me. So the goal for today is I'm gonna have to look, make sure that it's actually the radiator drain plug. Because on this side of the of the radiator, there's only this coolant line and then the drain plug. There's nothing, there's no like bottom hose on this side. So I'm gonna put you guys in a time lapse. We're gonna jack this car up. I'm gonna look under there and then uh, I'll take you guys under there with me so we could see exactly what it is. So uh, let's get started with the video. Well, I think we found the problem. Like I said, the radiator drain plug yeah, that's definitely not supposed to just be chilling there like that. It's supposed to be plugged up in the radiator. And, uh, not sure if you guys can see, but it's not doing that. So, I guess we're gonna see what we have to take off to get to that. So, I was able to get the old plug out, as you can see. It's what it looks like. And here's the new one. You see the little plastic tabs right there? Yeah, that's what, uh, that's what all broke off of this one. And that's why this one went over there. So this one is the new one we're gonna replace. All right, so right up in there, in between this little gap right here, right above that little silver thing right there, that's where the drain plug's supposed to go. So I'm gonna try and put it in without removing the intercooler, but as you guys can see, this intercooler's like right in the way of everything there. So I may have to take the intercooler off which uh, is not gonna be fun, but let's see what we can do. All right, great news. Just kidding. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to take off the bumper and then I'm gonna have to take off the intercooler. And the reason I can't take off the intercooler with the bumper on is because since the VRSF intercooler um, that's installed on here, you guys can go check out the video. But uh, that intercooler is like obnoxiously big and the couplers that go onto it um, where it attaches the intercooler to the charge pipes on both sides. It's like really really difficult to get them on So when we put the intercooler on we actually put the couplers on first And then we attach them at the top part. So if we take them off from the top part It still isn't gonna give us room to take it down. So I'm gonna take the bumper off take the intercooler off Then we can finally put in the radiator drain plug. That's the little thing There it is, right there. We loosened up the uh, intercooler, so it dropped down a little bit, and it gave us enough room to put it on with a super duper long extension and three quarter socket. Ta-da! Now we have to drive it to make sure it works. Yes, redrive. Yeah, but first we gotta put the intercooler back on the two screws, and then, hey, you don't need no bumper. It's got lights. I We're lost the screw! We lost the screw. Found it! Alright, so obviously since I lost a bunch of coolant, I need to re-bleed the system. So first what I did was I took the BMW coolant and distilled water. That's what they recommend. They recommend you do 50-50. So I had the water almost at 50 and I took the BMW coolant, mixed it, and as you can see it used pretty much the whole entire thing. So now that this is all done, what you're going to do is you want to hook up a battery charger unless you trust your battery. Then you're gonna take your key, 
you're gonna come into the car, you're gonna put your key into the ignition, and just turn the car on accessory mode. You're going to turn your heat to the highest, which would be 84. And then you step on the gas pedal for 10 seconds. Then watch. Oh, I hear it. Now, you keep that like that. If you want to roll your window down that way for your own safety. Now, if you come over here, listen. You hear the bubbles? It's bubbles. It's self bleeding itself. You think that's pretty cool? I think that's kind of cool. But is it worth the $500 cost when it goes bad? Absolutely not. <laughs> it is pretty cool though. So we're gonna let this bleed itself. Once it's done bleeding itself, um, you wanna open up the cap again, check, make sure uh, that you have sufficient fluid in there. And uh, if you do, fluid. if you have sufficient fluid, you're good to go. If not, top it off. And uh, if you wanna re-bleed it again, you could, but um, we probably won't. We're gonna open up the doors and go for a test drive, make sure it's not leaking. All right, battery charger's off. This is all filled up to the top. Now we're going to start her up, take her out on the road, and uh, make sure that there's no leaks. Maybe we'll get some fun pulls in. Yeah. so good huh yeah, everything looks pretty good feels good too can you hold it still So that's gonna be the end of today's video. So I do just want to say that all those burbles you heard, um, I have the mufflers off, so it's literally a pure straight pipe from the turbos back. I have just straight pipes, no resonators, no cats, no nothing. Um, on top of that, I do have the MHG burble tune on. I have it on aggressive. I'm gonna do a separate video on you know how to install that tune. Um, that way, you know you guys all can have the burble. So that's gonna be all for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm so excited to have the car back on the road. Get ready to see some amazing, amazing car content from the channel. Always remember, work hard, stay humble.